What's up? Welcome back. Uh, we're joined in by this gorgeous lady called Miss Mudoni. Hi. Eh? Hi. Hey. Hello guys. My name, I go by the name Miss Mudoni. I'm a model. I'm a student. <laughs> eh. Eh. I'm a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. That's it. She was once Miss Miss Moy University. Miss. Miss. Me, uh, me as well. second runners up on the same. Always, always <laughs> appear for portfolios, isn't you guys? <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. I know when you clicked on this video, we're gonna expect ranting and whatnot, but that's the totally opposite of what we are going to do today. So, I uh, we're basically going to talk about our experiences in the Kitenge Fest Fashion Festival. Uh, ever to talk about it? Not If you all keep quiet, how could I find improvement, right? Yeah. So, um, what is Kitenge Fest? <laughs> Uyu ndo mwenye alianza mapema mimi ya tuambie. When you went to Kitenge Fest, nini ukona expect? Uh first of all, uh thank you for having me. Uh Kitenge Welcome. Festival, it's an event, it's a fashion event that brings together designers, models and creatives around Western Gishu County. Yeah, and I was privileged to be part of the third edition Kitenge Festival and partly Fourth edition. edition of Kitenge Festival. When she says partly, guys, you're going to hear the story later on in the video. But as she has said, it's the high fashion event. LD akukwangi na high fashion mingi video. Uh-uh. Why is that, by the way? We need more high fashion events in Eldoret. Organizers, come on, you're watching this. We need more high fashion. This model needs to be out there, but now we sell. So we can say hi, uh, Kitenge Fest is one of them. And um imetupe water exposure, as you know. Yeah. For me, I can say before then I used to apply, nasikwa nakubaliwa, but finally for the fourth edition I applied and finally got in. For you, you've done both of yeah, two of them. Yeah, uh, I applied for the third edition and I got in. Yeah, and also for the fourth one, I got in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you gained from the whole experience for Kitenge Fest fashion event? Uh it was quite first of all it was quite quite interesting i was privileged to be part of it uh for the third edition it was my first time so i felt like it was going to put me in a pedestal a very high Somewhere pedestal yeah mm-hmm. and i was just like in my second year of modeling in, in modeling so it was a good platform for me yeah uh but by the for, when they we got to the fourth one i was already established as a model so yeah yeah but it was a good stepping ground for me so Kitenge Fest is the one main reason why you are established or it's something else. Would you thank Kitenge Fest for this? Someone as I say, Matu, you have a I'm a party, half, half. Uh, not necessarily. I worked hard prior to Kitenge mm, Festival. Mm. So like ki, that, the, that Kitenge Festival was just a journey. It was just part of the journey, but not necessarily a very, a very high stepping stone. True, true. It was just a journey to me becoming the type of model I wanted. <laughs> Yeah, two years of modeling before Kitenge Fest, I think you would already built a name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... When you say you applied, what do you mean? Did you apply to become a, like a nominee? Or do you mean you applied to be part of the organization? Or oh, okay. So when planning, when the organizers put out a flyer, a flyer that there's going to be a Kitenge fashion <laughs> event, mm-hmm. they call out for models. So you have first to apply... So that you can be part of the audition. When you apply, then you're called in for an audition. And when you qualify, then that goes gives you a go ahead yeah. to be part of the event, yeah. to be on the runway and everything. For my year, for the fourth edition, all we had to do is like send in uh, three to four pictures and write like a bit of what you've been doing in the modeling industry and what motivates you. So you need to apply because our this year I'm thinking they did like a real audition. Me I did an audition. And uh, I think the others didn't audition too. I'm not sure, guys. Because <laughs> me in your back, though, that I can be very sure. So, so did, you, did you guys audition? Uh, what happened? Okay, first, you send three professional pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you send your, your measurements, like the height, everything, like yeah. your body measurements mm-hmm. and everything. Then all the models that were selected, that were shortlisted, you're called, all of you. Mm-hmm. Then like you do, like a mid, like you walk and everything. Then you're shown like whatever mm-hmm. to do. So with not the best, you were being trained to be the best. Yeah, yeah. true. And the l- uh, one thing I like about this Kitenge Fest is the fact that they 
they give chances to all models. I'm talking um, plus size models, child models, uh, skinny models, long legs models. I don't know how to go. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's an opportunity for all. By the time they were doing the third edition, I don't know, you had only one kid model and one plus size model. But until yeah. this year, tomorrow changes and they brought in so many types of models, which is good a good platform for everyone. Eldoret is such a small town and um, it's, it has a long way to go for the platform for models. And I'm thinking uh, Kitenge Festival, it has an opportunity to build our portfolios. Some of us didn't even have portfolios by the time we were going to Kitenge Fest. But look at us now, we are approaching brands and stuff like that. So... I can say on the stage, kuna models, kuna dancers, kuna new performing artists when you're married to songs. Zao. I've also seen designers. Designers are putting their clothes out there. Na kunata, I think the audition edition that I was modeling in, most of the de designers were from Nairobi. Some of them from Eldoret, but most of them from Nairobi. So I'm thinking it's a very big platform. So now... um. I think the organizers also, they did a good job in making everything look good. Like, ukiona vile imeko pale, already the stage is so appealing, the lights is so appealing, kila kitu ni nice. Ama, jusisi tupo tunapanya rupa mbao, nyumu lifanya, nyumu lifanya andani indo, sindio? Yeah. Do you think ilikuwa, space ilikuwa kidogo for you guys? Ah, ilikuwa kidogo because I think they met their target audience. Mm-hmm. Nobody was left out. Uh, the the ones who were organizing the event made sure like everybody was catered for, mm -hmm. and the the tickets that they were producing were the ones they were targeting to sell. They mm -hmm. sold them, and everybody had a chance and a place to sit in. Nice. So, mm -hmm. how were you guys treated in the third edition? You guys as models, mm -hmm. uh, how was the provision for you guys to make sure that the event was nice? Na nini muli entertain their guest fully? Ni nini muli provide you generally? I think. You're a good model. There's always room for improvement. Exactly. So, like a month before, we were practicing. You have to be on your A game, on your walk, and everything. How to be your best self on the stage, on yeah. the runway, and everything. So, first of all, the events that led to the main event mm -hmm. were quite quite amazing. And during the event, like we, mm. okay, nothing much was promised to us. So. Mm. We, Person, like okay, let me speak for myself. Mm. Nothing much was promised to me, so I never expected much from them. Yeah. So, like I was just expecting the the bare minimum food, like <laughs> <laughs> food, manzia food. Okay, of course. Nico nango John, the human hair. Come on. <laughs> okay, food. Who wants to be on the line? We're hungry. Okay, yeah. No, we were we were fed. We were hydrated. Yeah, and we were treated with kindness. Yeah. Mm. So like. As I said in the beginning, the expectations were yeah. uh, chini because think, nothing mm, was promised. Yeah. So like there was not much to like to compare to mm -hmm. and it was my first time. So you were like, really excited and bummed yeah. to do this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so like I and for me, like I never looked at it like from a business point of view. Oh. It was like from an improvement point of view. You. Like I'm growing to the this is just oh. a platform for me to go to my next level. So, so do you yeah. think other models or new models should go with that mentality? When they kwa stage wakijua, oh my god, I'm a new model. Mm. Let's see what Kitenge Fest has to offer. Let me put myself out there. This is the only platform like I can showcase. So do you uh, think that's what mentality nyoto nafa kwenda na Kitenge Fest? Not, not really. Because as a model, we all have different goals. True. And we all, we all have different paths. So like maybe for the angle, your point will come if like up on the yeah. It was my next step. Yeah. This is the difference. That's why a third edition and a fourth edition. <laughs> <laughs> for what I know, you were modeling, mm -hmm. but you didn't model. Mm -hmm. You were modeling, mm -hmm. you weren't modeling at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so what happened? As I said earlier, mm -hmm. in my third edition, it was a path, but in my fourth edition. It, and in my third edition, I was not looking it, at it as a business point mm -hmm. of view. Mm -hmm. But in my fourth edition, it was business for me. Oh. It was strictly business. business. It business. was work. You, you're mm -hmm. buying my skills. You're so buying it's my no longer, time. oh, we're being provided with food. Oh, we are wearing new clothes. We have hair and makeup done for no, free. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
like I had already built myself as a model and I was exactly where I wanted to be. Mm. Like me being at Kitenge Festival, I was working. Oh, okay. I was not I was not a partner, I was not doing them a favor, they were mm. not doing me a favor. You it was working. just a business transaction. Yeah. Give yeah. me the clothes, let me put it out there, sell the clothes, yeah. pay me for selling your clothes. Yeah, period. Yeah. And but that's not what happened. So, okay, in the beginning that's what that's what was supposed to be, mm. but as we went cl- we went closer to the main event, things started changing and you know, if if you don't like it, if your money needs are not being met, <laughs> you, <laughs> you leave. <laughs> there is nothing much complicated <laughs> about it. Like you cannot, you can never bargain on your talent. Or let me put it this way: I can never bargain on my talent. Yeah. So your talent should paid should be paid accordingly. I know what I bring to the table. I don't have to bargain. Ooh, hey guys, where am I scare you? My dear was in this same same fourth edition. For me, no of the sponsors were the third edition. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, but the fourth edition, which I was there, I was aware of Dendry and um, some other many many sponsors. Mm-hmm. Sponsors are basically there to help the event go by. No, na mm-hmm. na to make sure iso nitty gritty the events they go through. Now, <laughs> okay, before we go there, let's le- let me make you understand that Kitenge Fest fashion event. It's a cool event, trust you me. You'd want to be a part of it. Whether you are camera crew, you're the model, you're the designer, you're just there in the VIP section, you're in the VIP, you, and you have no interest completely of fashion event, you'd want to be there. It's an entertainment opportunity, I'm an industry, nona. Mm-hmm. So definitely they promote every one thing every year, nona. For me, I remember they were promoting like fashion with the peace and cohesion. The, the last time you were there, I'm going to... For the edition, sustainable uh, something. Sustainable environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this cool stuff that they do, Nona. Mm. So before that, it was during COVID times and they were going through Waliendai places that disabled people, they were providing wheelchairs. Mm-hmm. You know, this is good thing that we want the community here and they Trust me, do that every time. You are to oppose, mm-hmm. do it. When the children's song, give food, give what, you know, it, it looks good for Eldoret and everything, you know. And it also attract more sponsors. I was surprised that this year they got the Safaricom sponsor. This Safaricom is a big deal. It is. U- u- <laughs> <laughs> this is Safaricom. I was there seated down. They were giving credit back to back. You know, mm-hmm. that's something. You know, it's just not nothing. 500. Oh, my. No, no, credit. 500. Anyway, but now, as been having the three common organizers, namely Maxivan. Nebat and MC Nick. Thank you guys for organizing this event. And thank you more to Maxivan. I'm on on an indoor liquor favorite organizer. Nani alikuwa na skiliza maoni na ni mzuri. Who is the favorite organizer? Who am I? Usio gope. Awata spani ya kitu. I'm protecting you. Ah, <laughs> uh, for me it it was easier. Mm. It was easier to work with Max Ivan, mostly because of his personality. He's yeah. laid back, he's chill. So like you can have a very nice conversation with him without it seeming like an argument. True. So, so that that yeah, that was Max Ivan for you. Although he didn't have like a big uh I don't know I'm gonna smami a nini, I just know I'm a something. Maybe I'll check later and put it down there. But uh, he didn't make most of the, de- the the decisions. That's why he was able to listen to your complaint, calm you down, but not actually do it. No, no. So um, through the third edition, the fourth edition, let me talk about the fourth edition because I was there, you know. At that time, maybe I was thinking, let me try this thing out. Let me see how fashion, how it is. I was a pageant girl. She was a pageant girl too. <laughs> We dealt with pageant for almost three years and we were like, wait, mambo ye. <laughs> let's try the commercial world, you know. And me also being my first time, I was just like, let's see how it goes on. on. And this was COVID time. So the event was all planned and looking good and gorgeous and stuff. They had sponsors. But now when it came to payment, I feel like in a good way, sitaki museme tuna rant, ama tuna lia, ama tuna kashifu kitengefest. So you can clearly see how we're heading. Uh, the way they planned it, we started by practicing. Already we were chosen to main gear, to make kubaliwa kama models I'm about to perform, and then we are practicing. So as we're expecting us to have the deal first, the contract, you know, 
Monday kwa Nairobi. Hebu mtuambie comment down hapo mtuambie how do you guys get it? Because tunasikianga Nairobi mnaweza lipa rent na pesa ya kulipa modeling. As we can't tujaweza tunanovia tuna <laughs> na malipo moja ya high fashion. <laughs> Anyway so we practiced for quite about like a month or two cuz bado uhuru alikuwa aongea i don't know do you remember the timelines practicing maybe early early in the year and uh, covid kept on coming na uhuru alikuwa aongea so you couldn't do events where you are hosting more than a thousand people a hundred sorry a hundred people so that's why we kept on practicing you know mind you by that time i lived so far from town me from me personally i lived in baharini that's like 60 bob kukuja maybe tukitoka late practice same 8 another 60 bob so it's 120 shillings for every sunday for 3 months calculate that i'm not saying money lipe past you but calculate all the money i'm using how much money did you use <laughs> for me okay i i used to i used to use aboda so like to and from was on yeah. 50 each so it was 300 bob yeah did you need refreshments there was a time they also tried to bring us free water yeah yeah so you need a refreshment yeah. mara hiyo utatoka hapo umebite ka smoky ni nini ni. so damages damages unaona mm. so i feel the whole communication your contract na payment wasn't handled well uh, the contract was offered to us two weeks we were told to sign the contract two weeks to the event when we read the contract it wasn't going as per our expectations and you know models will talk they'll talk behind their back and then when we are meeting to air our views we are talking about how oh, we want to be paid this much amount of money and no one is speaking out i don't know why people are afraid to put out there your your worth like you what did you think you are worth at that time so you are worth a lot a lot people yeah. are calling you to host events and they are paying you a lot of money and why were you stuck three months in an event only to be <laughs> to be paid for this amount of money anyway long story short uh, we didn't agree on the payment methods as at fourth edition so say me i'm um, change or anything organizers na jo mtanifikia na wapenda bado nyinyi marafiki zangu but the way you communicated the payment or those by that time wacha tu eke out there i'm not trying to feature mtuambie mnatulipa five 5k which me bado me akili yangu ilikuwa nadhani ni 10k according to mimi kwa maana to bargain ye 10k because of the whole hassle of three months hassle but now we talk to you organizers mnaanza kutuambia about the planning i don't know how the planning involves us and the sponsors we know organizing an event is very hard si rahisi hata mimi sasa mkiniambia ni ni organize event how will i start do i know anyone that can fund my my event no it's very hard getting people to pay by the by that time there was some downfall cause when uhuru aliongea people were like hey maybe the event is not going to happen and sponsors were actually retracting they didn't even do deposit so i'm thinking that's where the money went down but still tell your models what they are going to earn tell the models prior to the event give them the contract na ikwe maandiko about the exact amount of money so that when they sign they know what they are getting into Now discrepancy ingine ilikuwa like um, how we are paying models. Kwa yenye waliwa pay according to what? Let's hear this cuz kwa yetu they were talking about oh, how many times you modeled for Kitenge Fest, how much experience you have, the red card, whether you are a child model or a grown model so tell us. <laughs> uh in the third edition like I don't even remember how they were paying people like mm. I guess according to your experience and how how much or how how many times you have appeared on the Kitenge festival but also as I said for me like it didn't really matter much because mm, you were that edition you were going yeah. for it yeah. Yeah, yeah you didn't mind but in the fourth edition because she had actually alikuwa me practice at yake ime grow she's now a brand your your red card is out there man they can't get you just for that and what do you think squeezy like what should they do do, do they need to com- co- categorize you guys according to your red cards ama tu walipe kila mtu flat rate Z, like for me i don't think they should pay everyone on a flat rate mm. because uh they are a big event and this okay i don't know like, Uh, it's a business yeah. yeah mostly it's a business so even in a company people are not paid the same yeah they're not so like 
I might be bringing five years of experience on the table and somebody else is bringing one, or one year of experience on yeah. the table. You cannot compare me to an amateur or somebody, who, is else. Ve- well, somebody who has been modeling for 10 years. Yeah. So each individual has a different rate yeah. card. Yeah. To me, and I feel mm, if you can't afford this kind of model, go for a different kind model, of model because yeah. it's your business. Which so you, that is you can to find. do. Yeah, you can mm. do whatever you want. Mm. Yeah. To us, we were applying with a higher expectation, thinking. Uh, for me, me and I think we have the same. Well, not really the same, but according to years of modeling, to coach almost the same. I feel how she's more exposed. Me, but it's brand young we in jail. But it's so sad when you have to motivate a model to go to the next level and you're just paying them for this. This is something that has been occurring. See, up to Eldoret, I'm thinking even outside Nairobi. Because your red card is here and you're being paid for here. Like, utakula nini, utava nini, you know. We had to, like, make our own dresses for the red carpet, you know. It was way more than your pesa to deliver. Let me tell you, guys. Like what we wanted from the organizers, ni kutuskiliza. It was just as open as kutuskiliza. Then we all talked to a, a, a center, to an understanding. But now you find our organizers were more like defensive, machugu. And as we're also just working hard to metembea the whole Sunday from Sanane all the way to Samoja, tireless, unajua. And then you're telling your organizer, hey, I feel paying us that kind of money is a bit kidogo. Si mtuongeza hizi na hizi na hizi wako like, ah, wekwanza ulituomba, ukoomba na fasi ya kukuja hapa, unataka kulipwa ni, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So, to me, I feel that is where issues zilianza with Kitenge Festo, which haikuwa na maneno. Most of them walikuwa na kubali kulipo, because you want to expose yourself, unataka kujipeleka uko kubuild portfolio yako, kujishowcase watu wenye wako huko kwa VIP wa kuite on their brands of which i feel it it did the job i've ni mona each one of you mume pata pata some brand deals which is so good ni poa ulitumia kitenge face ku eka brand yako uko na ukapata job that's what you are looking for so so what if you ukulipa vizuri kwa kwa runway bado ulipata brand deal period no payment blank it's just a line and mind you the organizers are telling us all sign Sign, we only have one week to the event. No, no. So we are being told to sign for 5k shillings. No, no. Enya hatuja andika kwa contract. So what happened? Like, you left. You didn't model for the fourth edition. Tell us. Give us the tea. <laughs> From where it, where it started, what did you think? Uh, first of all, giving me a blank contract and telling me to sign it does not make sense. Yeah. Like, business wise legally wise it does not make sense true because why am i holding myself and the contract uh it stated what is expected of me so i'm not going to hold myself hostage to something that i'm not sure what you're going to do in, in return <laughs> so i'm going to sign it just saying what if i don't do this and i don't do this this is, this is what is going to happen to me yeah but what what is going to happen to you if you don't do it you don't have a fighting chance yeah so mm-hmm. so it did not make sense me signing a blank contract without the pay and everything. And at this point, we couldn't agree on the payment. And it was just like one week to the event. So I was like, and from the way the, the organizers were speaking, it was clear that they were not going to meet my needs. Yeah. So it was only... It was only leave or sign the contract yeah, for so, lower and the, pay. Uh, yeah, the, the options were just to either leave or stay and get a pay that I was not satisfied with. So for me, it was just, uh, it was, it was a battle between me and my worth. And in a, such a battle, I'll just choose my worth because why? I, I'll never begin on my worth. Let's speak numbers. Mm. What do you think you are worth in the fourth edition? What do you think <laughs> they could have paid you to keep you to the event? <laughs> Achena and all the other upcoming models, just mm-hmm. you as a person. Mm-hmm. Do, you're not going to be upset, just you as a model, Sai, in a high fashion event. Mm-hmm. What do you think they can pay you to keep you in the event? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. Uh, okay. So, for me, according to my rate card, what I expected to be paid also depended, depended on the number of clothes I was going to, be, to put on on the runway. 
for each outfit I was going to put on and the runway and model I expected a thousand shillings. Way, 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 changing. <laughs> a thousand. We yeah. are talking seven, eight. There were so many guys. Yeah. Tuli model is of manguo. So all night long. I So for me that that's that's what I've been paid before for yeah. every outfit, one thousand minimum. 1, oh, in other high fashion events. Yeah. So minimum. Eldorage, Nairobi. No, no, Nairobi. Nairobi. So one thousand shillings. Food catered for, transport catered for, makeup. Yeah, and hair. everything, everything catered for. Ooh. Yeah. So and looking at this event, they expected a lot from me. Yeah. I was going to dance. They expected an an outfit from me. <laughs> I was going to model. A dancing model. outfit. A dancing <laughs> outfit. <laughs> what do you think about the dancing part? <laughs> First of all, I'm not a dancer. So oh my god. <laughs> It was going to push me out of my comfort zone. Yeah. So I expected, like, this is effort I'm putting on to this. Mm-hmm. I'm bringing, like, for me, I'm a model and everything. Yes, I was going to do it, but at least if I'm going to do extracurricular activities other than P-P-P-P-P. modeling. P-P-P-P. Play. And as Alia stated, the fourth Kitenge Fashion Fest for me was business. Not it a, was business. It was not a stepping stone yeah. to anything. So here you are expected to model like, I mean, seven hours into the night, mm-hmm. dance. You are not even interested in dancing. Mm-hmm. You're here to entertain people. So 3K or 5K was going to cut it. No. Mm. No. Period. <laughs> so this teaches you one thing as an upcoming model. When you go out there, remember, just remember your what. Sawa, you're upcoming. Unajaribu kuingia kwa industry. But what are you bringing to the table? Sawa uko na experience na aje. Hii pesa itakutosha unaona? Like, us as models, we need to, be, to get paid. Unaona? What if someone is doing modeling full time? You know, most of the models there were students. Ninini, they have to get back to their papers, their projects. For me personally, I was working as a student. Unaona? So I'm juggling all these things. And then you're paying me 3K. I mean, mulitongelesha mkatuambia vile the whole event I want to do of which yeah it's true but can you also bag in and also feel the shoes we are wearing six inch man six yeah. inch <laughs> okay and for me like asking for such a certain amount of money I knew for me like I knew what I was bringing to the table it was not like I was asking for too much and I'm bringing the bare minimum nah. I was whatever I was asking for matched what I was bringing to the table yeah. so it was only right for me to <laughs> be paid what I deserved <laughs> I'm gonna like ex- insert clips of her modeling. I don't know if I have any. I'm gonna search for archives. There's <laughs> money wake up a morning. She's demanding that amount of money. It's it's what she does, you know. You're putting a, out there a cloth, someone's cloth, a designer's cloth, you know. And then this organizer comes in and is like, yo, the the event is not even all about you. It's not even all about the, the you models. Can you imagine the designers who are using their own money to make clothes for you to model? As in, yeah, we understand, but we're still the, you know, the people, the people in the, the, the whole why we came to, to view this show, Nona. 